Exercise 5-3, we're going to see how to draw some horizontal lines in this upper left box on the drawing sheet. And then we'll draw some vertical lines in the upper right corner. Then in the bottom left corner, we're going to draw some 45 degree lines to the right. And in the bottom right corner, we're going to draw some 45 degree lines to the left. I've taken my paper down and again, I've aligned the border line with my parallel bar so I know it's parallel to my sheet and we're going to be using a triangle to draw some of the vertical and 45 degree lines. We're going to be using the 45 degree 90 triangle. We're going to first start with drawing the horizontal lines. On your worksheet there's some predefined tick marks that we're going to use to line up our horizontal lines with and normally you want to avoid moving your tools and instruments across the paper as much as possible. So what I'm going to do is start at the top and work my way down as I draw these vertical lines. And I'm going to draw them all. But by doing that you, you decrease the risk of smudging your lines as you drag your tools and instruments across the paper. Next I'm going to draw some vertical lines in this upper right box on my worksheet. Again I'm using my 45 degree triangle and I'm going to make sure that the triangle is flush against my parallel bar and then I hold it gently as I draw these lines. Again I'm going from left to right since I'm right-handed but if you were left-handed you would go the opposite direction. Now in the bottom left corner we want to draw some 45 degree lines to the right. So I'm going to take my triangle and turn it until the 45 degree angle is facing to the right. And there's no predefined tick mark so I'll just arbitrarily draw some lines here. But again I'm making sure the triangle is flush with the parallel bar as I draw these lines. And then to draw the lines to the left at 45 degree at a 45 degree angle, we'll take our triangle, flip it over, but make sure it's flush with the parallel bar, and then start drawing those lines. Of course, you want to fill up the sheet a little better than I did, but this is just a demonstration of how you actually get it started.